Do you have the serious case of the sway? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get rid of it with a Frisbee. So the first thing we need to identify is what is sway? Sway is basically when your pelvis is shifting from side to side laterally, right? So as you can see, my pelvis is doing a bit of a shimmy. It's laterally shifting. So this is what we call sway. Now, best ball strikers in the world, right? They do have a little bit of sway, Sway in itself is not bad, but if you do it for too long, for too, you know, a great amount, then we have this kind of look where we have no turn and all sway. Everything's kind of just pinched in here, right? So when players get too much this way, they have zero turn, and what they typically do is just lift the arms to create somewhat of a backswing. The right arm gets folded a lot, right? There's zero width, left arm is folded, there's zero width here, and then all they can do is basically just kind of come over the top with no width. Best ball strikers in the world, they sway a little bit, maybe one or two inches, and then they start turning. So what we need to do is we need to integrate a little bit more turn, or a lot more turn in this case, if you sway a lot, so that we can have a bit more width and come down on the correct plane. Now, why we don't, why you don't uh, turn is basically this. Your right foot is doing this. See that? If I'm swaying side to side, there's no turn and I'm just shifting like this, right? So for that, we're gonna use a Frisbee, right? You're gonna place that on your right foot, no club uh, for starter. And what you're gonna do is club uh, hands on chest and you're just gonna practice turning this right foot. See, if I were to sway, this frisbee is not turning, right? So if I turn this frisbee anti-clockwise for me, oh, sorry, clockwise for me, because I'm a right-hander, right? So clockwise, see how my right kind of leg and right hip is making a turn now, rather than just poking it side, out, out, out to the side, right? So we need more kind of turn with the right foot, so we're screwing our kind of feet this way. And notice how I'm not swaying now, right? So if you were to take that um, frisbee away, and I implement that, ah, now I've got some space here where I'm not shifting too much this way, and I'm starting to actually turn, and I, and I can feel my feet actually kind of screwing into the ground this way as opposed to just doing this, right? So now we can get a club in our hands set up with the frisbee under the right foot and we're just gonna turn, right? Turn to the backswing whilst turning our right foot clockwise. Right? If you're a lefty, obviously, anti-clockwise. Right? So turn it clockwise as you turn back. And now, take that frisbee away, and you're going to feel that right foot screw into the ground and it's turning more, right? That kind of hip socket's turning, or you know, the hip is actually rotating as opposed to swaying. Right? So from the side, rather than this, we're getting a little bit more turn and that hip is actually turning and we're not swaying as much. A little bit of sway is okay, but ultimately we wanna turn a lot more as opposed to sway. Okay, once we've done a lot of these frisbee, frisbee turns, <clears throat> okay, and we're not swaying now, we feel like that, that foot is screwing into the ground a lot more, okay? Now we're gonna to progress to hitting some balls, all right? So I want you to, I want you to uh, remember that you wanna do more drills than hitting balls, okay? So I want you to do as a three to one ratio, three drills and then one hit, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do three drills, one, okay, feel that, two, I'm not swaying, three, and then maybe do one bad one just to know that you're doing it differently and you're actually, you're turning rather than swaying. Good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just hit a little pitch shot out there about waist high. 
and we're going to feel this frisbee and emulate that that uh, foot turning as if the frisbee was under our foot. Okay, great. Awesome. We're going to do the drill again <clears throat> three times. One, two, three. So this is training your body to change the motion. If we just go drag, hit, drag, hit, drag, hit, we're not going to change the motion much, okay? And you're going to fall back into the old sway again. So we real, we're just forcing this, you know, body to change. So again, boom, lovely. Now you may be kind of in between it. You might feel this, but you're trying to feel this. That's fine, okay? If you feel that and if you feel more confused, if you're confused, just do more of these and really get that feeling down, okay? Okay, so three more of those, and then what we're gonna do is if you feel a little bit more comfortable, let's swing back a little bit further, and then hit, okay? Awesome. So again, frisbee. Okay, really trying to turn that foot. And you're gonna feel some sensation that you've never felt before. So this foot's gonna feel like this, obviously, and your hips actually going to turn now rather than this way, okay? But start slow and do the drills more than hitting the balls, okay? Now once you feel really comfortable, now let's get it back to full swing, okay? Full swing, you can do a few reps, feel that foot, feel that hip. Awesome, all right? Do that again. So now we're going full back swing. All right. If I were to do the sway, bad one, oh, that feels terrible. Awesome. Okay, let's hit it. Let's do a practice swing once. Good. And then hit it. Wow, that feels good. And then so once you, once that, and then so once that frisbee feels good with your irons, right? Now you can try it with your driver. But remember, always start off slow. Hit little waist high shots, then go to shoulder height, and then go full swing. So we're always climbing the ladder rather than going full out from the start, okay? If we go full out from the start, um, it's gonna be very hard for us to feel that and kind of train or you know, ingrain that feeling in, okay? So always start off slow and short swings and then climb your way up. So get yourself a frisbee and try that drill. I know you're gonna feel a huge, huge difference. Start slowly and small and work your way up as you get more comfortable. Do this drill regularly to get rid of that sway for good.